bargain is really, it started out as a white neighborhood. Judge McLemore owned that over there and then he subdivided it into smaller lots. He sold one of the lots to his ex-slave, Harvey McLemore. He was a slave for over 30 years and to try and come out of that experience and build a new life for yourself would take incredible courage. And today, Harvey's house is sitting right there on 11th Avenue and uh, Glass Street. He worked, he built a home that sheltered and safeguarded his family for 117 years. That's a pretty powerful legacy for someone that was enslaved for the first 30 plus years of his life. Back in the mid 90s, the Heritage Foundation had bought it because they were gonna tear it down. So today it is the home for the Williams County African American Heritage Society. I was hoping that they would see how African Americans lived a long time ago. That's what the house is supposed to be showing. When you walk in, there's a room on the right, and that's what the, where the parlor was. They called it parlor then, and over on the left, there's another big room. That's where Miss Maggie's bed, a bedroom was. Didn't have refrigerators, had ice boxes. And incidentally, we have an old-fashioned uh, kitchen set up, and then we have a modern kitchen set up. It's the story of a man that, that worked hard and built a home and raised a family, but when you realize the conditions that he operated under and what he came from, it's really, that's an inspirational, courageous story to take the challenges that you were dealt and turn it into something so positive and to, and to build a legacy that we still have today. You can visit the McLemore House along Franklin's African American Heritage Tour. Pick up your free printed guide at the Williamson County Convention and Visitors Bureau located in historic downtown Franklin. <laughs>